He's about to complete only his fifth season in the NFL, but Patriots tight end Rob Gronkowski is already in the discussion about being the best tight end in the league's history. Even though he has missed 15 games in five seasons due to assorted injuries, Gronk has put up incredible numbers. Not counting the postseason, he has amassed 308 receptions for 4,379 yards and an incredible 54 touchdowns in just 65 games. This season, he became the only tight end in the history of the NFL to record four different 10 touchdown seasons. Plenty of more could be in store, but he needs to stay healthy in order to do that. Even when Gronk doesn't put up huge numbers, he can still make a big impact and make the rest of his team even better. At 6'6 six six and 265 pounds, it's almost impossible to cover him with just one defender, forcing teams to use double coverage. More often than not, that strategy leaves big holes in opposing defenses and allows Gronkowski's teammates to fill in the gaps. Even though that makes the Patriots better, it won't make Gronk the best tight end in the history of the game. For Gronkowski to truly be considered the best tight end in NFL history, he'll need to continue his production over several seasons. To be sure, he's on pace to be in contention. But Tony Gonzalez played 17 seasons and racked up 1,325 catches for more than 15,000 yards and 111 touchdowns. For now, Gonzalez is a paradigm of the position. But if Gronkowski continues his pace, we may very well be putting him atop the pyramid of the position several years down the road.